The film begins with a Joker informing us that the cartoon on the screen aren't my favorite, but I've seen them all over since my childhood. People in my near area look like them, and it feels like they're aiming to harm me. Later, he is seen at work, where his manager is asking him to work quickly. He forbids him from daydreaming, otherwise, you won't get the bonus. You'd be unable to pay back the debt till today. Later, his friend approaches him and tells him that the place where he is living is not a good place. But you should live in a good place. He claims that who says if I could afford to live in a good place. I can't afford to buy an apartment there. He claims that he knows someone in need of money. And that he is selling his apartment for a low price. This apartment is worth 12 million dollars, but he's only asking 6 million dollars for it. I have 2 million dollars, and you must share some of them with me. So that we could sell it to gain profit nicely. He claims that I would be unable to do so because my mother would become enraged. He claims that she has been in a coma for many years. That if she wakes up, she will be angry. And he rags at hearing this. He likes a nurse at this moment since she works at the same hospital. Where his mother is being treated. Later, we see the scene at the hospital. Where a large number of people are teasing the nurse. He couldn't do anything as he was idle, and he couldn't even save her. He also had to pay his mother's medical bills. And he used to be annoyed about all of these things. After all of these worries, he chooses to sell the plot. And informs his friend that he wants to sell it. That is registered in my mother's name. I am interested in purchasing the plot you stated with me. Later, his friend shows up at the hospital, and the two sign documents there. He says there were some documents in English language, and he wants me to read them. They claim these are in English, but how could you possibly read them? He tried to read one of the documents, but it was quickly taken from him. Later, he sees a man he has never seen before. And his friend shows him the document, after which they go. In the next scene, he calls his friend's phone, which is no longer accessible. He becomes worried that something bad might happen to him. He receives a call the next day in the hospital from a man begging him to do anything for this. Please forgive me and leave me. The next day, he becomes very worried and goes to his friend's property dealing office. The manager informed him that his friend had been fired from his work for a long time. Because he had taken our client's money and fled. Later, he receives a call from an unknown number. Which turns out to be the same man who gave the documents to his friend. He brings him to a secret place and informs him that you are deeply in debt. If you work for 30 years and do 4 jobs despite not being able to pay your bills. Furthermore, it would be impossible to refund the fact. That you were unable to pay your mother's bills. Actually, it was his friend's loan that convinced him to sign those forms. That document said that if he was unable to repay. I would pay the remainder of the loan. That man claims that your friend is now unable to pay and that you are responsible for the payment. You must work for 30 years to complete this. He tells him, you're very lucky, and I'm jealous of you. You've come to the right time, as a destiny ship is about to sail. Destiny means luck. You can put your luck to the test by testing your destiny. You can, for example, walk inside and play a game. If you win the game, your entire debt will be forgiven. Later, he gives him one minute and tells him to think about it. Either, you will play and win, or you will refund your loan. Alternatively, you might labor for 30 years to repay the loan. He accepts to board the ship and participate in the game. He wants to know what we need to do in order to play the game. He says you'll find out about it once you're inside the ship. If you lose the game, it will be up to us to decide how we will handle you. He tells the nurse that I'm going on a mission, and she does everything she can to stop him. But he felt compelled to do so because he wouldn't be able to marry her if he didn't. How was he going to pay his mother's medical bills? Many people were preparing to board the ship and participate in the game. They were injecting them before arriving. There to make them faint. When they arrive, they will get up. Later, he feels something is wrong as he is heading in the wrong direction. He attempts to flee, but they inject him from afar. Finally, he arrives, and it is the same man who informed him of the debt. The name of the game is Rock, Paper, and Scissor, he was telling everyone. Everyone has 12 cards, 4 of which are made of paper, 4 of which are made of rock, and 4 of which are made of scissor. 
In addition, you have three starts to tie around your arms. Two players will be present, as well as a referee who will oversee the game. To play this game, you must first learn the rules. The person with the scissor would have the upper hand over the person with the paper. Because the papers can be cut using scissor. If one person holds the scissor and the other has the rock, the second condition is the same. The one holding the rock would have the upper hand and would win. Because the rock can break the scissors. The third and last condition must now be understood. If one person has paper and the other has rock. The person with paper wins because paper can wrap rock. The winner would be presented with a star and his card would be placed in a nearby box. This man also informs them that in order to win at the end, they must have three stars. Along with that, all of your cards, including playing cards. All cards must be deposited. After that, you'll be able to go alive. Else, something terrible will happen that you won't be able to imagine. He was frightening them, the game is four hours long, and the game begins later. Everyone here comes from various parts of the globe. To understand each other's language they put an apparatus in their ears. In the meantime, Kaizi, the Joker, is the main character. A man approaches him and inquires whether he is from China. He claims that you know why there are so many cameras there. Because many people are watching us and have betted on us. You know they'll treat us harshly if we lose. He says that the only way to stay alive is to win. Kaizi says who else doesn't want to go, you can take all of my cards and I'll leave. One could depart if he has three stars but no card. Meanwhile, the man claims that everyone here is greedy. He claims that if two persons have the same cards, the game will be tied. We will win since both of our cards will be deposited. Why shouldn't we both play together? We must both play the game and keep the cards in the same order. All of our cards will be tied in the same way. All of the cards will be deposited in the same manner, and we'll go quickly. We might be out of here in three minutes if you agree with me. Kaizi now agrees with him, and the two of them go to play the game together. Initially, whatever card Kaizi keeps, that man also keeps. When the final card is played, Kaizi keeps one and the man keeps the other. That man wins, and he also receives one Kaizi's star. Because the loser's star is awarded to the winner. He tells Kaizi that he made a mistake and kept the cards in the wrong order. However, when we play now, you will have the scissors and I will have the paper. Likewise, you will win and reclaim your star. Kaizi is now trapped once more and has agreed to him, both start to play. He keeps the scissor, as per his orders. He kept rock rather than the paper he was required to keep. He wins again, takes Kaizi's second star. Kaizi has been fooled again by him. Kaizi claims to be a cheater, but no one believes him. He claims that you are unaware of the man who instructed the game's rules. He says you can play in whatever way you wish. He hasn't mentioned of not cheating. We can do anything in this animal world to benefit ourselves. Kaizi becomes concerned, and he meets the same cheating friend. Kaizi begins to beat him and asks, what are you doing here? He says I've come to try my luck. He says that I want to retake your apartment. He also tells him that if we don't win, they will torture us. He shows him the people behind the glass wall, will be sent there if we lose. They won't send us out till 10 minutes if we don't give them anything valuable. Later, we'll send you down to the basement, where we will have various tests. Kaizi wonders how you know about all of this since rats have been tested in the lab. He claims that I had a friend who was placed there and that he informed me. Kaiz inquires as to why he has taken a loan from the company. He says that I had taken a rented apartment, with increasing interest and debt. Kaizi says the game is 4 hours long and there are only 2 hours left. So we need to act quickly. We both have 1 star, therefore we have to make it out alive. We both need to find someone who has 2 stars but no card. We're going to give him cards and take the stars. Yes, his friend says. There is such a man, and I am familiar with him. They go him and speak with him, but he initially refuses. They eventually figure out what he's saying and tell him to take their cards. It's better to play than to sit about doing nothing, he agrees to them. At least, you won't be sent to the basement. He was a fraudulent who took their cards and began to play with someone else. He also lost their card, and his one star had to give to another. They severely beat him and question why you did this. I don't want to go down the basement, that man apologizes and begs for 
Because I have a daughter. Kaizi has pity on him. Kaizi's friend explains why they would leave him since he had taken our card. Because you have scissors and two papers, I had doubts on you. Your cards were not balanced, but everyone here keeps their card balanced. Kaizi thinks in his mind that everyone maintains their cards balanced here. It refers to when both cards have been used after the first turn has been completed. Which cards they would use after this, Kaizi plans in his mind. Later on, Kaizi says that I'm going to get a loan. So we'll be able to buy stars if we need them. You will meet such a man who has used 7 reaming cards to play his 5 cards. Now, his friends track down that man and invite him to play a game with them. He accepts, and the two of them play a game, which they win the first time because Kaizi uses his mind. He claims that no matter what you do, you will end up in hell. Kaizi asks, how did you find out about this? And, will you continue to play with us? Yes, he says, but only if you agree to join him for three rounds. Kaizi loses in the first round when they play again. His friends forbade him from participating in the remaining rounds. Kaizi claims that my cards appear to be balanced while they aren't. Kaizi now uses his mind and wins the next two rounds. Now the man who explains the rules appears. He claims that you haven't truly understood the rules. I stated that the only person with three starts and twelve cards played could go. Later, he grabs a man and claims to have flashed his three cards in the toilet. What do you think, we're not seeing you? He pulls out his gun and shoots him. He claims that anyone who tries to deceive us would be punished likely. Three of them are now concerned that they might kill us. They begin to consider which cards they should have at the end of the game. That might help us win. According to Kaizi, the card of rocks has the chance to aid us win. Because I believe that a lot of people use the card with the papers and scissors. The paper cards will be consumed in the same way, so we'll use the rock card. So no one will be able to defeat us with a paper card, we will win. They distribute the money they have borrowed to a large number of people. As a result, they might be able to collect the rock cards for us. They now have 30 rocks cards, 2 scissors, and 4 cards of paper. He warns his friend to be careful because paper cards are becoming short. When you believe the paper cards are about to run out, it'll be our turn. And we'll make our entry with the rock cards. On the other hand, the friend of Kaizi with the glasses inquires. You never tell me about your 8th birthday when I ask. Is that what happened to you on your birthday? Kaizi claims that on my 8th birthday, my parents were murdered. Cartoons were being broadcast on television. When I'm worried, I look around and see them. Meanwhile, their fat friend arrives and informs them. That you have stated that the paper cards will be finished. The scissors cards, on the other hand, are coming to an end. Their strategy is contradictory, Kaizi claims that the paper cards should be taken out. He claims that someone might be aware of our rock card stock. For us, they are collecting paper cards. They are worried that the rock and scissors cards are ending. It means that everyone now has paper cards. And paper always has the upper hand over rock. It means that if we use the rock cards, we will lose against the paper cards. Later, same man, who had purchased paper cards, joins them. They deal with him and offer to play a game with him. You're going to give us three stars. He says that why I give you these stars. He believes they will be costly and that he does not agree with them. Later on, they decide that each round will only receive one star. They are now playing a game together. That man is aware that they have a large number of rock cards. He cleverly uses the paper cards. Kaizi claims that I'm not all that mad. What do you think? Would I use rock cards, rather I have scissor cards. When that man uses a paper card, Kaizi wins by using a scissor card. Kaizi approaches him and asks, why don't you join our team? He claims that if you gives me $1,000, I will give you all of my cards. Kaizi says no, rather if you give me $1,000 I'll take all of your cards. He says why I would do this, I could sell these cards to others if I wanted. If it is, Kaizi says I'll let everyone know what cards you have. That's what your other friends have told us about your cards. It is simple for me to defeat others in the same way. That man has been blackmailed, and Kaizi has taken both his cards and his money. Kaizi receives all of his paper cards from him. Kaizi now has the rocks cards that they had previously collected and also paper cards. 
The man who deceived Kaizi appears and says. Interesting. You used to collect rock cards, and now you're collecting paper cards. But if I tell you one thing, think about it. Collecting them has no benefit. Many others had tried to do the same thing but had failed. Finally, they were forced to enter the prison. He tells him that if he gives him five cards, he will receive one star. Finally, you may use it to rescue yourself. Kaizi disagrees, stating, do you know what will happen if you lose? Humans are used in genetic experiments. How could you save yourself if you didn't have the star? It is so horrifying that it is preferable to die. Kaizi hasn't accepted his star. They have a rock, a scissor, and a piece of paper. The man who duped Kaizi greets everyone and inquires about their cards. I know, and he informs everyone about their cards. He claims that defeating you is simple, so I've come up with a plan. We all shuffled our cards, but they refused to join them. As a result, everyone will be aware of our concept. They're all trapped one more and hand over their cards to him. He shuffled the cards and distributed them to everyone. We've given you the cards to shuffle, says one man. However, there are still a few people who haven't given. They haven't handed it over since they have collected them. They don't want others to know what card they have. It is useless to take card and play with them playing with them. When we are already playing with each other. It implies that they have formed a group of their own. Kaizi's secret was revealed when it was revealed that they had gathered the cards. No one would play with Kaizi after that. So, they joined them as well. They offer to be willing to shuffle their cards with you. After shuffling the cards, this man hands them out. He throws them on the ground when it comes to Kaizi's cards. This man, who cheats on everyone, says to another man to play with him. But he doesn't again. Later, Kaizi comes and invites him to play with him. This deceptive man asks him that you play with Kaizi. You'll be easily defeated because he has so many cards. That cheating man comes to him and informs him that he has all of the paper cards. Kaizi asks, how do you know? and says, if I have all the paper cards. To beat me, you'll need all of the rock cards. A man says yes, he has defeated me and taken the card of rock. Kaizi tells everyone that he has defeated me by cheat when I came new. Later on, he came to me for taking some cards. But when I denied, he asked everyone to reshuffle. Even then he cheated by giving all the paper cards and kept rock to him. As a result, he has a good chance of defeating me. Why would I do it, he asks. Everyone knows I shuffled the cards before giving them out. How could I know about the cards of scissors if I kept all of the rocks cards? The person who has scissor cards can now defeat the person who has rocks. Kaizi suggests that you may have left a mark on the scissors cards. When that man sees his scissor card, he takes note. His card had a mark on it. Everyone knows he cheated while shuffling the cards. Now this man whispers in Kaizi's ear, saying, you're telling everyone this way. How would they play with us? I'll play a game with you, Kaizi says. We'll play with our eyes closed, and I'll keep all of my cards turned. I'll take the card you've asked me to take. He doesn't play this game blindly with Kaizi, but he does with others. No one wants to play with him, but everyone wants to play with Kaizi. They had a better chance of winning with him. No one was playing with him, so he yells for everyone to join in. Kaizi approaches him and invites him to play. He initially rejects Kaizi, but Kaizi eventually understands him. Where will you end up if you take all of these cards? You'll end up in jail. If you want to flash out these cards they will do. They'll do the same with you that they have done with that man. He's now willing to play with Kaizi. When they were playing, Kaiz asks. If we... Don't play the game with you, Kaizi says you'll be sent to the black room. He asks that he go apologies to the people you cheated. Otherwise, I'm not going to play with you, and you get a slap on the face for it. He, too, must play the game because time runs out. He must make use of his cards. Kaizi punishes him for cheating by slapping his face and apologizing to everyone. Kaizi engages in a high-risk round with him. His friends forbid him, but Kaizi insists that if we lose, one of us will be sent to jail, don't worry, I'll be sent to jail as well. And you'll give the money you have to get me out of jail. Kaisa's friend accepts, and the game begins. The same thing happens his friend rescues. Kaizi was sent into the jail. Kaizi was at calm since he knew his friends would assist him. His only friend arrives to free him. 
Meanwhile, his fat friend says to his glasses-wearing friend, if we sell the stars, they will be hugely expensive. We can also do anything with this money. He lures his friend. Kais, who was imprisoned, requests that they listen to him and release him. He claims that because of what I haven't done for you, you are now going to cheat on me. His friends become greedy and leave him in prison. Another man was imprisoned, and two people came to free him. His back was covered with bandages. When he exits, his friend inquires about his bandages. The fact that Kaizi has taken the bandages is the most interesting part of the movie. There are a lot of diamonds on that bandage. His friends are now urging with him to set him free because Kaizi has the diamonds. While walking, an older man informs Kaizi that my son is working abroad. You'll contact him and request that he purchase medicine to treat him. Kaizi later appears and took money from his friends as though they were enemies. Which he has earned with his hard work. Later, instead of spending the money on himself, he releases the old man. Whose son was ill, and who claims that he lost his parents when he was a child. I understand that he doesn't require medication, but rather that he requires your assistance. Kaizi, with his wisdom, emerges from the destiny ship. His debt was also forgiven, and the film comes to an end here.